welcome graduates. I'm delighted to welcome you to your virtual graduation ceremony. Now we might not be sitting in the Peacock Theatre surrounded by family and friends and your peers, and you're probably not wearing a graduation gown, but that shouldn't diminish the importance of this milestone. You faced incredible challenges in the course of your degree, and I know that completing your studies during the pandemic was far from easy, but you did it. Despite the hurdles you encountered along the way, you're here today, an LSE graduate. I hope you're proud of everything you've achieved and I offer you my warmest congratulations. Graduating from LSE is an incredible achievement and getting this far has taken enormous dedication. That tenacity of spirit will serve you well in a world that is dramatically different and changed over the course of the past year. As communities around the globe have grappled with recent events, there have been huge shifts in our politics, economics and societies. And for you to make change in that world, to truly shape the future of our society on a global scale, you will face more challenges. Making an impact will mean committing wholeheartedly to understanding the causes of things and coming up with new solutions. And I say this not to dishearten you or to damage your aspirations. In fact, quite the opposite. Amongst you are future political leaders, policymakers, researchers, business leaders, civil society advocates, and you will be the agents of change in the post-pandemic world. Your LSE education will be the foundation for your future and enable you to make huge impact. Do not let your ambitions diminish in any way. Keep them high. And as a graduate of LSE, you hold extraordinary power. You may not feel that yet, but I know from my personal experience that you will appreciate the value of your education in the years ahead. Finally, I hope you're able to celebrate your successes with those who've supported you in your time at the LSE. The past year has shown us more than ever the importance of friends and family, and I know that without mine, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wish you all the best in the months and years to come. I have complete confidence that you will do great things. In fact, we're counting on you. And I look forward to seeing the impact that you have on the world. Do stay in touch, make the most of the benefits that the LSE has offered you and stay connected as an alumni, both now and in the future. Congratulations on achieving your MSc degrees. You're a very special cohort of students because you've pushed on in a time of coronavirus, driven by your love of learning, to um, engage with anthropology and become anthropologists yourselves. And we've really enjoyed teaching you. We've been very proud to teach you in this difficult time. We've passed on the traditions of anthropology to you, in particular the rich traditions of our own department that started with Malinowski. And we've really enjoyed watching you create new things and new perspectives from those traditions. And to send you now on your way into the world, I'd like to leave you with one message from your time here with us. And this is the core message of anthropology that in order to change the world, you need to listen to and engage with it. And this is expressed really well in a poem written by the anthropologist Adrie Cusero that I'd like to read to you now. If knowledge came to me in the thickest part of the night, wake me with a flashlight, asked me, what do you know? I would say nothing, nothing at all, except to dive into and love this world. So congratulations again, and please dive into this world to change it. I'm sure that when starting at LSE, you didn't imagine just how much the world could change in such a short space of time. If we've learnt one thing this year, it's that life is unpredictable and can take us pretty much anywhere. That's why it's all the more important to take the opportunity to celebrate your achievements and all the hard work that you've done to get to your graduation day at LSE. My business school class in 1987 was called the Class of the Crash. 
but history proves that crises not only pass, but they catalyze the creation of new ideas, new industries, and new opportunities. You're entering the world at a challenging time for democracy. Do not be deterred uh, in pursuing your dreams of improving our collective situations. In fact, double down on them. If my time at LSE taught me anything, it was that it was possible not just to lean into society's most complex questions, but also to imagine a career built around the idea of contributing to solve them. I'm certain that, come time, you will realize what an important part the school and the overall student experience will have played in turning you into the person you are, and most importantly, the person you might become tomorrow. In the time since graduating, the value of my studies at LSE has really shown itself in how I'm never afraid to question or challenge what I see around me. An education from LSE really equips you to recognise the power of bringing the social sciences together and to go above and beyond in everything that you do. So use what you've learned to innovate, to inspire and to make an impact. When I was a student in the mid to late 1980s, the school was a much different place. With 3,500 students, it was much smaller, but at its core, it was what it still is today. An unbelievably rich, diverse, global place that cannot fail to instill the sort of values into its student body that will help the world overcome its multiple challenges, values that in many parts of the world continue to or are increasingly under threat. Use your time from here wisely, concoct your dreams bravely, and realize that you are graduating from a unique special institution that gives you extraordinary permission, extraordinary permission to go after them. Don't let that go to waste. I for one cannot wait to see what you come up with. You can build great careers and find work no matter where you are in the world, whether it's in Cleveland or in Canary Wharf or in Shanghai or in Ethiopia, it doesn't matter. Set goals, keep learning, take chances, work hard and play hard. Learn from your mistakes. You'll make them, I most certainly did. Eventually weave your experiences together into an optimal path for you. Most importantly, while it may feel like a chapter is coming to an end or door is closing, your graduation is actually the beginning of the next chapter and a set of new doors opening. And there's really no set path for an LSE graduate. When I think about the friends I graduated with, they're all doing so many amazing things in all walks of life. Your existing network is a resource and so are the LSE alumni community you're gonna become a part of. So tap into it. No matter what comes next, you'll always be a part of the LSE community and I'm so excited to see what you'll achieve. Most important, Go through this with family and friends. Lean on your classmates. They probably also have no idea what they're getting themselves into, but be assured that armed with incredible education, doors will be open to you for life. So embrace the journey and have fun. Be kind to yourself, be warm to yourself and be friendly with yourself and tap into your friends and your network to help you navigate this journey. Congratulations to all on your graduation and I wish you much success and inspiration for this next chapter in all of your lives.
I'm so happy that I survived this year and graduated. Thank all my family, my friends, and professors who helped me. Congratulations to us all.